So here I am uh, about to check out the new Vox AC30 S1. Uh, the one I guess stands for 112. You know, most uh, Vox AC30s that we've all known over the years has been a 212 version combo. All right, so let's check it out. Let's turn it on and see what it's got. Let's see, I'll try to turn it. So that's what the gain almost up. Well, I already like that. <laughs> I mean, that's that's not even you know real loud. That's you know that's you know that's not a sound man going. Man, I think you're a little loud today. That that gets a good sustain, and and that's a, the volume is really only on what like three right there. <laughs> Wow. Well, I'd say that it kind of has that nice uh, mid-range that, you know, I've grown to love about AC30s and stuff, but it's definitely got a nice tight punch about it, you know, for like... It's got nice, it's tight and it's got a lot of clarity, you know, so that, that feels really good. Clean up and try a little reverb. There you go. Funny is that to me, digital reverbs always have a nice sound to them. You know, it's a nice airy kind of uh, clarity once again. Um, I know it, sometimes that's dangerous to say, but uh, I've always liked the uh, digital reverbs, you know, it's always got a nice, nice bright sound to it. Yeah, see it's tight, you know, when you hit those chords kind of hard and you want it to cut through, it, it's doing that, it's not too smooth, it's not compressed, you know. To me, sometimes the compression, I, I don't really like. I, li I like when the tubes are breaking up, you know, and, and you can hear this is a tube amp, that's for sure. That's, that's pretty amazing at that low volume, you know, to get that sustain like that. That's, uh, that's pretty incredible, because we're not really playing it that loud, you know? I mean, that's a, a pretty average level of a drummer or bass player's in the room with you. <laughs> Issues I've always had, even though uh, the AC30 with the 212 is a combo amp, it's, it's a heavy combo amp, <laughs> you know, it's kind of hard to get around, I mean, uh, so it would be nice to have that in more of a compact form with the 112. I mean, obviously when you take up speaker where you're a little bit worried that you won't have that same punch, but from what I've heard so far with this 112, it's got a lot of punch to it, you know, I don't miss the second speaker. <laughs> Wow, yeah, I think, uh, I think the uh, 112 uh, kicks butt. Now I need a stack of six of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>